Well, we're here today to make sure that the state of Oregon and the state of Washington don't forget the importance of the gillnet compromise that we uh, put in place several years ago to move gillnets off the mainstream of the Columbia and um, allow them to continue to fish, but in areas where they won't do damage to our wild salmon runs. Gillnets are a very indiscriminate form of, of uh, harvesting fish. Uh, any, any fish that swims through there that's of the right size will get caught in that gillnet. So you catch wild fish, you catch uh, hatchery fish, you have fish that you're not fishing for called bycatch. But one of the things that identifies this, this state, I think, that helps identify us as a region is our wild salmon runs. And so what we tried to do is figure out a way that would um, uh, move those gill nets, which as I said are very indiscriminate, to off-channel areas where they would be catching primarily hatchery fish and uh, allow a lot more of those uh, wild fish to, to escape, to travel right through downtown Portland here on their way south to, to spawn in these wonderful fast-moving streams that come down the west slope of the Cascades with magic names like Sandy Ann and Mackenzie. I mean, that's really what this is about. It's about our state, it's about our people, it's about building community, getting beyond conflict, and finding a solution that works for everyone. Protect our river wildlife and our river. Tell our governors, no gillnets on the Columbia.